What up, what up, what up, Kryptonian Gaming back with another Division 2 build video. And this one is pretty cool, man. Awesome build. I have a lot of fun playing with this build. I had the pieces already for the set, but I had to unlock the Iron Lung, which is an awesome weapon. And um, I just came up with this build. Um, I just want to put this out there. I make these builds for you guys, you know, for entertainment purposes. You know these videos and stuff like that and i put these builds out there for you guys to have some ideas maybe new players old players maybe some content creators out there that's big and maybe they can make a better build and redesign the build in a better way so um that's the only purpose i make these videos for so you know i hope you guys enjoy i have the build breakdown i also have some gameplay for you fellas and um, if you're new to the channel, you know, hit the like if you enjoy the content. Hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you can get notified whenever I drop a video. Let's get into it. All right, so let's get into the build, man. First of all, man, I went with the tactician because that's just my preference. I get an extra skill tier with the tactician, but you can also go with the gunner, man. Reason why, because... uh. Every third reload is 50% faster if you throw the gunner on. You get killing enemies grants 10% armor. And a couple of other specs in here. But um, the gunner's a pretty cool uh, specialization to use with this build. Also the Banshee Pulse. Um, you can use the Pulse and always have a status effect on them. So when you kill them, you always bring in them hollow point bullets back. And you get that amplified 35% weapon damage. Another one is uh, the Survivalist. Survivalist, you know, it got a couple good specs. You get 10% uh, increased protection from elites. You also give your teammates, I think it's 10. I'm not sure, but I think you give your teammates like 10% bonus damage to, you know, targets with status effects on them. So in this build, that comes in handy you feel me if you want to use that to help your teammates out and all that they lacking a little bit of dps or whatever the case may be but let's get into the build that i'm rocking and uh basically i have here the iron lung which is an awesome weapon i'm not too big on lmgs but ever since the blue screen i've been trying them out so it comes with the talent ardent shooting heats up the weapon fire round heat meter the meter is equivalent to 50 percent of the weapon's standard magazine size when the meter is full rounds shot by the weapon ignite enemies when not shooting the meter depletes over time reloading or swapping the weapon fully depletes the meter and i don't know if this gun is bugged but when i play with this build and use this weapon um I never have to get ammo from the ammo box. It's just I always fill to the top with ammo. So I don't I don't know what's going on with it. Maybe it's designed that way, but hey, it's fun build. I'm not gonna say nothing about it. Um The cabaret just basically for show SMG. The tactical M1911. Now the gear for the gear, I'm rocking the backpack, the Seska, for that 10% critical hit chance. It's not fully optimized yet. I'll get it there but it has the talent creeping death when you apply a status effect it also applied to all enemies within eight meters of your target so you know it spreads with the fire and the bleed It's just an amazing build and um I think they have a a perfect creeping death I'm pretty sure they do but I just couldn't find a good one to use with my build like the piece didn't drop for me piece I, I actually wanted so uh let's go to the mask the mask I'm using the vow exotic mask which is an awesome piece ever since it came out this piece never fails uh yes the core attribute is one skill tier and then it has the attribute status effect it has a protection and the mod i got in there is critical hit chance the, t the talent is toxic delivery status effects also apply a damage over time debuff for 10 seconds total damage is dealt equal to 50 percent of your concussion grenade damage and increased by your status effect attribute so pretty cool also um you can also use another mask with it maybe the coyotes if you're looking to put out a whole bunch of dps you know but um i went with the vow 
um the brand set i have on is ongoing directive my favorite brand set ever since they changed it and it has two pieces if you rock two pieces it's 15 percent status effect three pieces 30 percent reload speed then it has rules of engagement shooting a status affected enemy will apply a mark killing a mark enemy grants a full clip of hollow point ammo for your active weapon and half a clip of the ages active weapon to the rest of the party like i said you sp you split this ammo with your party and they're gonna hit harder so like the survivalist will be the best bet because they get that 10 you know that extra 10 plus the, you know it's crazy with the survivalist so you know i might try the survivalist i don't play with it but um the talent on the chest piece is uh parabellum rounds increases hollow point ammo weapon damage amplification to 35 percent this bonus does not apply to the party members so this is only for you that 35 percent of hollow point weapon damage and um that's all for the build man it's a pretty cool build fun to play with and um the skill is basically to strike a drone that helps me out catches the aggro um and the uh, turret so the assault turret so pretty cool build i got some gameplay for you guys leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think about the build and um i'll see you guys on the next one